Zoom tips for iPad users using breakout rooms. Hello, in this video I'd like to talk about using breakout rooms during a Zoom session on an iPad. During your session, your professor might want to put you into a separate private room. When you join a meeting, everyone joins the meeting in the main room. However, during a session, there might be times that your professor, your host, will want you to work alone or with one or two other people. Your professor will send you to a private room called a breakout room. So now you're in the main room. When your professor opens the room, on your screen, you'll see this white box. That says the host is inviting you to join breakout room, breakout room one, and you'll see later and join. Tap on join to go to the breakout room. You'll see a new blue screen that says joining breakout room. Just wait a few seconds and you'll enter the main room. At the top of your screen, you'll see breakout room one in this example. If you need help from your professor while you're in a breakout room, look for the white circle on the left side of your screen. It's hard to see in my video, but that circle has a blue square and a question mark in it. You can see ask for help under the white circle. Tap on the question mark and you'll have another window that comes in the middle of your screen. It says you can invite the host to this breakout room for assistance. Cancel and invite host. Tap on invite host. Your professor will see that you need help and will come to your breakout room when it's possible. You might also see another message saying the host is currently helping others. Please try again later and OK. Tap on OK and wait for your professor to arrive. You can tap on the Ask for Help button again in a few minutes if your professor doesn't come into your room. When your professor wants to see everyone back in the main Zoom room, your professor will close all the breakout rooms. Again, in the middle of your screen, you'll have a new window that pops up. Breakout rooms will close in 47, 46, 45, 44, etc. seconds. You will be returned to the main session automatically. Below that, you'll see cancel and leave now. So you'll see this countdown to show how much time you have left to talk with your group. From the beginning, you have one minute to finish what you were talking about. Or, you can tap on leave now if your group is ready to go back to the main room. Now you're in the main Zoom room again. If your professor opens breakout rooms again later, tap on join to go back to a breakout room. At any time, when you're ready to leave a breakout room, look for the blue Leave button in the very top left corner of your screen. Tap on it. You will see two choices. 
you can tap on the blue leave breakout room to go to the main room or you can click on leave meeting. If you just want to go back to the main room, tap on leave breakout room. Look for a white circle in the top left corner of your screen. You might see two white circles. In the top white circle, again, I know it's a little hard to see in this video, but in the top right top circle, there is a blue rectangle and you can see join breakout room underneath the circle. Tap on that white circle to go back to the breakout room. When you're ready to leave a meeting completely and here you're in a breakout room, tap on the blue leave button and if you are really ready to completely leave the meeting, tap on the black leave meeting. That is like leaving your classroom at the very end of class, so be careful. I hope these tips will help you to use breakout rooms in Zoom more easily. Thanks for your attention.